Senator Susan Collins office says Maine small businesses are collecting more than $2.22 billion in paycheck protection program loans. This put emergency money in the hands of more than 16,000 employers. If applied to payroll, it could all be forgiven. The problem now, the funds for the program have run out and the senator is now calling for $250 billion more in funding. Here's what to, you could do if your business did not make the cut. It's been busy for the people assisting Maine small businesses. We processed 468 small business loans over a period of 12 days for about $68.5 um, million. They help 1,500 clients in a year. So um, to do, you know, 600 clients, you know, kind of crammed in there in that three week period was definitely uh, very, very busy for all of our advisors around the state. Good for business owners who already applied for the federal economic injury disaster loans or paycheck protection program loans. If you apply for either of those two programs, your applications are in. But for the ones that haven't, the money set aside for the CARES Act and the Small Business Administration, EIDL, has already dried up. There are a lot of small businesses that were still pulling their documentation together to get their applications submitted. And we had to say, sorry, the funds are already used up. Gene Hewlett, the former acting director of the Small Business Administration, says these programs demonstrated a need for the support and suggests business owners still prepare for the possibility these programs get refinanced. We are encouraging people to pull their documents together. They're still going to need their tax forms. There's still going to be an application. Um, but we're, we have to see when Congress passes, if they pass another round of funding, if any of the rules will have changed. Maine Small Business Development Center is also working with clients to start planning on one day reopening up shop. You know, can a restaurant really sustain itself for months with only half the number of tables if they need to be six feet apart? I don't know. We're going to have to really try to work hard with those clients uh, to see what their cost structure is and how they can, how they can hold on. The Small Business Development Center will be hosting webinars next week for scenario planning to reopen businesses when the time is right. You need to sign up for those to attend virtually.